Hi everyone, I'm Kanzawa, your spiritual teacher. In this video, I'm going to tell you guys about how your sorrow can be the reason for attracting wrong people in your life. Again and again. There are two reasons of attracting wrong people in your life. Number one is that you are yourself a narcissist, but you don't want to improve yourself. And number two, that you are a highly sensitive person and you have the ability to heal others. But now you don't know that you have that uh, healing power and you are unable to uh, heal your uh, trap negative energy that you, have, you are uh, absorbing from other people and uh, which is your uh, spiritual power and that is a blessing. This is why you are attracting narcissists and you want to heal them. And uh, now right now the focus is on self-love which is attracting the wrong uh, people in your life just because of your sorrow and it, it might also be just because of unacceptance of your uh, uh, life reality. You are not accepting some part of your life that is uh, really unacceptable and you have so much anger regarding that uh, aspect of your life for which you are feeling extremely angry and you are lacking self-love because you are, you are not accepting your reality. And uh, before, especially before uh, awakening, highly sensitive, keep on attracting wrong people, keep on attracting wrong people just because they are themselves not uh, accepting the reality. Okay, they don't want to accept their reality. This is why they keep attracting the wrong people and they are in the victim uh, mentality. They want to play victim. Someone is uh, so much controlling that they can't afford. This is why even your uh, friends who are very close to you, they won't believe that uh, you are dealing with such kind of things in your daily life. They also won't believe you and this uh, becomes extremely toxic that why people don't believe you. This is because you are not accepting your reality. And if you keep having this kind of mentality that you want, you are uh, lacking self-love just because you are uh, in a victim uh, mindset that uh, you are unable to do anything for you then you will keep attracting wrong people who will uh, you know they will tell you that you are a lazy person or you uh, are not doing anything for yourself just because you are thinking that you are not being able to do something for yourself this is not an other person's fault that they are telling, telling you. It is because you are feeling extremely sad and very bad in your life. This is why you are attracting those people who won't ever believe you. That you are dealing with such bad circumstances. You should be willing to embrace where you are and with the mindset of acceptance. You should accept that uh, you can't do anything for yourself in this situation. You know, um, you should be there for yourself. You should stand for your rights. But where you are unable to do anything, like uh, the situation will get more worse. Then, then in that situation, you have to accept that. Okay, yes, I can't do this, but with the mind mindset of acceptance. So if you want to stop this uh, cycle of attracting the wrong people again and again, you uh, first thing is that you need to accept that you are doing your best even in such kind of bad circumstances. So if you don't want other people to cross your uh, private life boundaries, uh, you don't want them to involve, impose their uh, feelings, their thoughts on yourself, then you must stand up for yourself and you shouldn't accept that and you should accept that you are you are not able to stand for yourself in certain aspect of your life and this is it you know it but uh, why are you feeling so uh, you, you are in so much sorrow when you already know that you you will never be able to do this with these people you are not going to have certain things in your life with these people. In that case, 
you must know uh, how to like for example if you are in family if you are a girl for example you are in a family that won't allow you to pursue specific uh, career then you must know that in the next step of your life what you can do to get rid of these kind of negative patterns so that you can pursue your soul mission which you already know that this is your soul mission so this is really not acceptable right this uh, is extremely toxic i believe that it is the level of uh, thousand percent toxic i believe that just because when something hurts you and when people keep on blaming you that you are not being able to do this and that and that and whatever then it is extremely toxic extremely toxic for highly sensitive and spiritual people staying in the 3d world is not acceptable because the light workers are in 5d since childhood i believe it so if you are a spiritual person you are going through a spiritual awakening you know that you are, you were in 5d but now you are having some confusions just because you are living in this 3d world but when you gain the 5d consciousness that it becomes really easy and clear to find out that yes you were always right and you will always be but you have to heal your highly sensitive pattern you have to be uh, aware that you are highly sensitive and so that you won't absorb so much negativity within you and you should be able to heal your uh, heal the absorbed negativity from other people so if you like my video give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and you can support me on patreon if you like my videos thank you so much